Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye. I think he's got fleas, he's got flea poop, and we'll see here in a minute. Come on, let me use your head here. He doesn't want to move his head. Now lay down. There's flea poop. I feel like I just saw a flea, but... They move pretty fast. Can I get in here? Can I move this? Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me, okay? I'm thinking I'm seeing fleas. Good boy, you're stretching it for me. I can feel. I can feel you stretching. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotcha. Okay. I kind of want to do seven reverse. And I kind of want to spray. Because it's just taking too long. So I'm going to do some flea spray here. Just in case. Check my preventative. If I can get one that's alive. Lots of flea poop up there. Flea poop looks a lot like pepper.
Oh yeah, they're all... That's a lot of flea poop. Where's the fleas at, baby? All on the head here. That's where they're hanging out. Let me see if I can get a close-up. If you can tell any of those dots. All those black dots, those are pepper. That's flea poop. Okay. Couldn't tell anywhere. There's a lot. You see, I haven't, I'm not jumping to conclusions yet, but A plus B usually equals C. Baby, can you lay back for me? Yep, there it goes. There's a flea. We do have fleas. Fleas in the house. When we have fleas in the house, we panic. We split. Now I'm spraying my surroundings, spraying the table and stuff, getting ready for that flea to move. And um, definitely has fleas. I knew it, buddy. I knew you had fleas. Freaking me out. Come down here. No, no, no. No, no, no. You're fine. Come on, baby. You got this. You got this. You want to lay down? Okay. Okay. Lay down. You got this. Good baby. Good baby. Yeah. Hang in there. Uh -uh -uh. Lay back. Might as well just lay back. Mm -hmm. Just lay back. <laughs> There's a song like that. Lay back. It's okay. It's okay. I got you. You can relax. Just lay back. Lay back. You're okay. It's the best place for you, honey. You got a flea? No. Hold on. Hold on. Now 
Wow, I can finally see stuff down there. Stay there. I just smell urine. I smell urine pretty strong. Can I get you open up that arm here? Open the arm for me. No, no, no. No, no. Back, back down. Lift your arm. It smells like urine real bad. I'm trying to clean this up. Pretty good. Ah, it's such a scary area. No, right? Let me see. Can I get in here? You're doing so good, huh? You're doing so good. Let me get all in this stuff like this. Oh, oh, hold on. I got your jaw. I'm holding your jaw there. You want to go down? <laughs> if you go down, stay down for a minute. Don't keep moving so I can get in here. Hang in there. Hang in there. And get, try to get the whole other side of your body from this angle. Okay. That leg's working. Feeling that? This is not a normal grooming position, people. Hang in there. And get in there and do that. Stay there. Might as well stay there. Just stay there a second. Good boy. That's a good boy. Yes, it is. Okay, stay. You want to just stay there? Okay, stay there. Let me switch blades. Hey, baby, you know I'm helping you out, don't you? It's okay. It's okay, we'll get through this. May not look perfect, but you haven't been groomed in two years. We'll get what we can, huh? Let me see this one. I'm doing a 10 down on the body, 7 reverse and bulky bushy areas so that so when dogs are so bony and hard to maneuver, you can get that 7 reverse going like the other direction at least. You know, so you can kind of get it looking at least decent. Disabled dogs, you're not in it for looks, people. You're just in it to clean them up and get them comfortable. So, so far what I've done with this baby, he's disabled in his back um, and some of his spinal area, so, and he has fleas, so I went ahead and sprayed the tub in case any fleas jump off of him while I'm working with him here. I'm going to uh, put goggles on here in a minute, because once he shakes flea shampoo, it can get in my eye. Um, it's really painful, or it bothers me. So I'm going to load, oh, watch it. And then I'm gonna do his head last because he will shake his head and stuff. And we, I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes, usually around 10 minutes, to kill any eggs and fleas on the dog. But I don't dip dogs. Two different things. Okay, you wanna sit there? Let me 
see. Is that better? Put yourself on that, that leg there. With flea shampoo, I do like to get it on, make sure every part of his body's, body's lathered up. Because again, you know, we want it to kill it, kill the fleas. getting a lot of just fresh water on his face and not trying to get any flea shampoo in his eyeballs but I, they love where you leave out so if I skip his head they will run all to his head and I don't want that oh no I know you don't like it I know you don't like it okay so I've got him pretty lathered up I actually I'm gonna rinse my hands and take wear some glasses and um, maybe a flea will surface so I can pick it off I'm going to let it do a 10 minute sit. Hey you guys, it's Dee Dee. I'm going to touch base with you on the Dotson that we just groomed. Um, this was a very, very old Dotson. A uh, pet parent took forever to find me. They were referred to me, I think, by a veterinarian uh, because they had been turned away for over two years at other groomers. I uh, am willing to risk working with pets that have a serious ailment. In this case, this Dotson wasn't able to even stand up on its own, it had some serious spinal injuries. Uh, the pet parent stayed here and waited right here in the lobby and who can hear everything I'm doing back here uh, while I was grooming her pet. She did not want to assist. So knowing that the pet couldn't move at all, and ha has these ailments that way I didn't put a groom loop on the pet. Um, it ended up having uh, many, many, I want to say a thousand fleas. It had so many fleas on it, flea dirt was everywhere. This is, you know, this is Texas. You wish that every client took uh, care of their pets in the flea aspect, but it's just sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes, honestly, the product doesn't work either. But uh, we did the best we could as far as just me being here alone at that time and working with the pet. Um, let me try to stay on track here, but could not stand up. It was disabled. Uh, the haircut had been two years, so I want to reiterate. Um, man, it was it was just a, some tough stuff. The smell of urine, the stench, the the type of coat that was on the the pet, and honestly, the, just not saving anything because we we're not going to groom anytime soon. Matter of fact, I have never seen that pet back into the salon. So I, I'm thinking the pet had maybe passed away already because it was. I don't know if I mentioned the age on that, 14, maybe 18, but seriously old pet. There's only so much you can do. I, I do challenge groomers out there to create that one-on-one -on -one experience. No dogs were in here. It was just me and the Dotson. So it could be a low anxiety, low stress, but to, to groom that pet quickly, it's not about how it looks. It's about how clean it is and just getting the hair off because the hair had been just, it just smelled like if the pet can't stand up on its own, you just have to think when it's at home, how is it using the restroom? You know, it's probably sliding around and mom has to clean up every day. So it's probably one of those situations. You're not going to know about those situations unless you've rescued or have a senior pet and you have to care for them in that scenario. So don't prejudge. Um, you don't know what what's going on. I had a really old pet named uh, Sally. She passed away. I rescued her at a senior as a senior pet. And she ended up like she went blind. So she couldn't find her way to the doggy door for three years of her life. You know, um, she had to wear a diaper. She pooped everywhere consistently. You're, it is literally senior care. So this Dotson may have been in that situation, which is why the, the urine stench was all through the coat. I can imagine. But it had been two years since it was groomed and we chose to do a shave down. So that's why we ended up doing that. Um, the dog couldn't move, so I didn't use a groom loop. I felt uh, really safe with the dog on the table in the sense of it trying to fall off the table. So that's why I wasn't too stressed about that. Using your flea spray uh, here at the salon, fleas, flea eggs can last up to three years without hatching. So if it falls off the coat and then skimpers off or you know just dust and I don't capture it, then it can get passed on to another pet. There's no way I'm going to let another dog coming in here for grooming get fleas from my facility. It's just not, I'm not going to let it happen. So in order to maintain that standard, you must take care of spraying around the dog. You have to contain 
the problem, right? So that dog had so many fleas on it, pet parent didn't give me any warnings, didn't tell me over the phone. So that immediately you have to set the reaction that you wanna do in your salon. Here in my salon, I stop what I'm doing, I get the flea spray or the white bottle spray that I have, spray around the pet containing any jumpers, jumping fleas, Jump, fleas can jump at least 12 inches at a time. There could be on the other side of the room in like a second or two, or two or three seconds. Um, spray around my table, you saw me spray around the pet, spray around the floor, spray the trash, all the trash cans that I have have a lid and that's at the end of the night if I'm not taking that trash totally out I'm putting a lid on it spraying it really good so everything in there is dead the next morning spraying around the tub and that that day I'm actually spraying the entire inside of the facility usually right after the pet leaves so really want to make sure you have the right kind of flea stuff flea, Adam's flea and tick spray is one of the best out there you are gonna this is this says you can spray it right on your dog so me spraying around the dog is totally okay so some of you are just concerned about spraying you, you can spray this stuff on the dog on your carpeting on your bedding so make sure you get the right product that you want to use in your salon um, but definitely want to make sure you can contain the fleas so it doesn't spread to another client. There has been times where I've actually set, shut down the salon, canceled all grooms because the dog came in with a thousand fleas on it. In this case, we were able to contain it and move on to the next situation, next groom. But thank you for watching. I just want to do a recap on the Datsun. Sometimes you got to take the time that you need and work with these dogs that no one else will groom because where else are they going to go? It has to be groomed, it needs to be cleaned up. So he was in really tough shape, but he was really kind and, and sweet. He just had a serious spinal injury. So thanks for watching.